Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the interior tour this last week. Uh, we had to split it up because there's a lot to cover on this and it, the video would be way too long. So we are going to show you the outside of the boat right now. Starting with our dinghy, this is our means of transportation for getting to land. It comes equipped with a 20 horse Mercury engine. We also have some very nice wide sugar scoops for ease of getting in and out of the dinghy and getting in and out of the water. This here is our starboard hatch, starboard compartment, where we store stuff. We also have a very nice wide platform on the back for moving around the boat. Here's our swim ladder. This is a Kohler 6 kilowatt generator. It is used to supply power to the battery bank. We also have a super wind generator to help supply that power as well. We have a nice little wash down shower, which is actually where we take most of our showers. It's easier to keep all water and wetness on the outside of the boat if you can. It prevents funky water smells. There's a hatch right here that has our life raft and we also store like extra oil. Um, cockpit, we do homework, do school, sit out here if it's rough. It's easier on the tummy for outside and getting fresh air than inside, in my opinion. And the medic. The medic. Sorry. The medic freezer, this is awesome. This gives us extra storage space. We are able to hold more frozen goods. And a lot of times we'll rotate them from the freezer because our fridges are finicky. What about the table? Oh, Bahamas. The chart map of the Bahamas is on our table. So that's nice since that's where we're headed first. And our first real kind of crossing that'll be pretty more advanced than what we are used to maybe hopefully yeah. not hopefully it goes really smooth but we have to cross the gulf stream so and this I'm is super awesome it. because it shows a lot of distances from uh passages uh gives you some tips and it shows all the depths and everything which is really cool this gets used when we have fish or need to cook outside this is our magma gas grill at the helm we have all of our gauges throttles and this is our Garmin chart plotter. It's a 7612. It has been very useful for us. Also, with the Leopard 43, it has easy access to the rigging as it has winches on both port and starboard. This, depending on the make and model of the holes, like some of them are rounded and it would be harder to walk on with the dog and the kids. And so that was kind of, it's just silly little things that what works for you as a family or whoever sailing with you and um, but like smoother flat holes was more of a priority for us kind of like the sugar scoops because of the easy access not just for us but for the girls and for maggie so awesome. just functionality yeah absolutely speaking of functionality the steps were a huge hit for maggie the kids and for us is if we have to climb up to check the rigging or unzip the stack pack or mess with the mainsail at all the deck above the cockpit has two solar panels we have 500 watts which powers the battery bank during the day these right here is where our water tanks are and a lot more things we keep our right here we have a water tank on each side and we also have a couple of five gallon water tanks and we keep our fenders and just a bunch of different things dock lines things like that we also got a swing for the girls in there so it's a nice little storage compartment area And right here, this one, that's where the anchor goes. The anchor is off, obviously in the water right now, but we have a Rockna 33 anchor. It's uh, 33 kilograms and it holds so well. It came with the boat and we're very thankful for that. So, to get the anchor up, we use our windlass. Right here, we got a wireless remote inside, which is amazing because our wire, it, uh, you gotta take it out the wired thing kinda messed up. It needs a name. Yeah, we need a name. Anyway, these right here, this is where we enjoy 
nice sunrises, sunsets, chilling out. And it's also where Maggie chills out and goes. That does it for our boat tour on the outside. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.